Country Roads Trust is the NIL collective that helps West Virginia Mountaineer student-athletes make money with their name, image, and likeness. In this episode, I am proud to be interviewing the COO and General Manager of Country Roads Trust, Mr. Stephen Ford. And to help me with this interview is my friend and partner, Mountaineer Paul from Mountaineer Paul Talks Football. I hope you enjoy the interview. What's going on, everybody? This is Coos and Mountaineer Paul, and we are here with our very special guest, Stephen Ford. Stephen is the Chief Operating Officer and General Manager of the Country Roads Trust, which is the NIL collective for the West Virginia Mountaineers. Stephen, how are you doing today? I'm great, guys. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely, man. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to chat with us and uh, hopefully educate us and our listeners a little more about Country Roads Trust and NIL as a whole. Sure. Because that's what we're here to do today is to, to educate ourselves a little bit and hopefully uh, also give people an opportunity to know how and where they can support you guys and what you Absolutely. do. So uh, first question uh, that I have is, can you give our audience just a general overview of how NIL works and and specifically how Country Roads Trust operates for the for West Virginia athletes? Sure. Uh, so let's, let's rewind back to um... – uh, 2021, July 1st, uh, you know, the, uh, well, no, let's, let's, let's rewind way back to, until, you know, sometime in, uh, 2020 when, um, the, the federal government and, um, the Supreme court, uh, struck down and said that, uh, these universities do not own these student athletes. They cannot handcuff them and, uh, bar them from making income because you had student athletes that had their own. YouTube channels that they were making income that way. If somebody wanted to use them on a, on a billboard, they couldn't do it. Um, if somebody wanted to have them make an appearance at their son's birthday party, they, they couldn't do that. They were, they were, uh, there were guardrails everywhere. Uh, but then you fast forward to uh, July 1st, 2021. Um, that's when the NCAA said, Hey, look, you know, you're able to go out and benefit from your name, image, and likeness. Uh which lit, led us to where we are today with Country Roads Trust. You know, we launched in January of uh, 2022, so we're we're a little over a year in uh, to do exactly that. That's to help uh, you know facilitate and guide student athletes to uh, make money off of their name, image, and likeness. Uh, you know, just a quick overview of how it works. You know, uh, you got a, a a star football player that that. You know, a company wants to use him or her, or wants to use him on a, a a billboard or in a TV commercial, or even show up at a at a at a, a golf event, right? They're able to make money from that those special appearances, uh, t- you know, t- for the TV commercials, radio spots, you name it. Um, you know, you they can use a girl for you know to promote you know products on on their social media, right? You know, we 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 had a. a a girl on the volleyball team who uh, who, who just uh, recently transferred, uh, who had celiac disease, and she was promoting, you know, uh, a company that that helps uh, gluten te- awesome. test gluten, cool. right? Yeah. So um, a lot of these kids have different stories, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 a lot of these companies and these organizations want to latch on to them based off of their history and their past. Uh, and this girl was specifically about, uh, you know, her celiac disease and they wanted to promote it, use her social media to promote, you know, the, the gluten tester uh, because celiac disease, disease is, is pretty serious. Um, but so for us, you know, you know, my background is in the corporate sponsorship side of things. So, uh, you know, working with the different companies around the state, um, you know, raising money that way to use, you know, to use uh, the student athletes and some of their some of their ads, whether it's on social media, their TV commercials, billboards. I don't know if you guys have saw the Megacorp mm-hmm. uh, billboards in Star City with Emmett and, uh, and Eric. Uh, you know, we're going to be putting, uh, you know, Wyatt and Zach Frazier on there with, with them. You know, those are just perfect examples of how it's done. Um, you know, that's and that's one way we do it through the sponsorship side of things. So if you're if you're a business, doesn't matter how big, you know, doesn't matter what your budget is. We will find a way to get you involved with our student athletes. Um, then you got to look at, at our, our donor base, which is, mm-hmm. which was where, you know, the majority of our money comes in from, uh, you know, uh, you know, anybody that's willing to put in, you know, hundred, hundred grand to $500,000 a year. Uh, and the way we're able to disperse that to the student athletes is by 
putting them out in the community, you know, connecting them with the different charities around the state. Uh, you know, a, a, an investor might have a tie to Ronald McDonald House or they might mm -hmm. have a tie to another organization. Well, we're able to disperse that money to, you know, a, a, a wide range of athletes so that we're able to give money to them. Uh, and the other piece of our business is our subscription. You know, that's just the everyday fan, you and me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can put in $20 a month, you know, $100 a month, whatever you can afford. Right. You right. know, I, I actually have four different accounts. You know, I put in uh, $30 a month. I do $100 a month for my son, uh, you know, what, but whatever anybody can afford. Um, and that's and that's monthly. So we know uh, at the very least we have, you know, we're charging a credit card every month. People receive benefits. But what we're able to do with that money, it, go, it goes into a pot and somebody might earmark it for football. They might earmark it for women's soccer. You know, once we got a good enough pot together, we're able to go create opportunities uh, for those student athletes in those sports. Now, if somebody is putting in money for uh, women's soccer, you know, let's just say that there's ten thousand dollars in the pot for women's soccer. Well, we might create an event for those supporters for women's soccer. And that's how we're able to, to offload that money to the girls. You know, maybe some autograph signings, same with football, same with basketball, so on and so forth. Right now, over time we're able to augment that those dollars together, right? The, mm -hmm. From those three different pots. And that's how we're able to go do bigger deals with our, you know, star running backs, our star point guards, you know, uh, our star point guard on the, on the women's basketball team, the goalkeeper on the women's soccer team. That's how we're, we are able to operate as a, as a good functioning business is we pull in the money from all these sources uh, we augment them together to make the deals much bigger um, than just doing one off deals with the athletes, which is what we did in year one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we were just we were still trying to figure things out. But as as time goes on, we pull in money from those three different sources, the sponsorship where the company wants to get involved through the donors. Somebody that's, you know, writes us a twenty five, fifty thousand dollar check, um, you know, all the way up to five hundred thousand dollars a year, which is what some folks have done. And then the membership wow. side, yeah, that's where that's where we need to scale. OK, like that's where we need to get our name out more. Right. Like we're, we're not advertising or marketing ourselves to to donors or to sponsors. Like we, we have a lot of that covered. Um, what we're trying to do is put ourselves out there on the fan membership side of things, the subscription. That's where we have to scale. If we can get that number, guys, to you know, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 members. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're continuously charging those credit, you know, those credit cards or bank accounts. You know, that's where I think that we can really uh, make a difference uh, and, and stand out more than some of these other collectors around the country. Yeah. And that actually segues into one of the questions I had and, and one of the yeah. things I wanted my listeners to, to hear. And that's about this new promotion. Yeah. million dollar may that you guys have rolled out okay you guys are trying to get a million dollars in the month of may alone right is that, mm -hmm. is that an accurate statement yeah so so the way we look at it, it's annualized revenue right um mm -hmm. you know what we look at a 12-month process you know what are we going to bring in over these next 12 months you know right now i think we're sitting around 350 mm -hmm. uh so we got we got some work to do so we got you know six hundred fifty thousand dollars that we got to raise in the month of may but if we can do that all in the month of may that means that we're just going to keep adding on to that million dollars heading into December, January, February, March of next year. Now, what people don't know yet and what we've kind of held in our back pockets is that we have an anonymous donor that's going to match everything that we do in May. OK, awesome. you guys are hearing it first. Uh, your listeners will hear it first. Uh, we're, we're probably going to put it out to the public uh, sometime next week, which gives us about half the month to, to do that. We kind of want to build this thing organically mm -hmm. uh, without without kind of having any kind of promotion behind the, the match. But, you know, as we've seen with with, you know, a lot of the, the charity match, you know, with with, uh, you know, NFL teams and professional baseball teams. You look at the 50 50 raffle, right, where, you know, half that money goes to, you know, charity and then the half goes to the winner. Well, here right here, we're doing a match. Uh, there's an anonymous donor. We won't say who that is. Right. Uh, but they're going to match dollar for dollar everything that we raise in the month of May. Awesome. So if we get to if we get uh, if we raise another two hundred thousand dollars, you know, that means that that they're going to be writing a pretty big check. Mm -hmm. Now, if we if we get to that 
$500,000 mark, we will get to that million dollars. Um, so that we, we knew that from the, from the very beginning, we we're going to have somebody to, to match. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a pretty lofty goal of ours, but look, we have to be aggressive right now. Absolutely. We've got to, we, we have to be aggressive. We're West Virginia. Um, and look right, wrong or indifferent. Like, you know, we, we have to do well at, at this, at the collective side, we have to do well in NIL because look over these last four or five months, we're here in crazy numbers around the country, yeah. crazy numbers. And look, we don't, we don't have to compete with, you know, and, and I, I, we were talking with somebody yesterday. We don't have to compete with the Alabamas and the Georgias, right? There's going to be 15, 20, 25 schools that will be all, that will always be at the top when it comes to NIL, right? Then you're going to have, you know, 25, you know, 25, 30 schools that will be at the very bottom that are doing nothing. And then you got the in-between, okay? Yeah. If we can be at the top of that in-between, we will we'll be able to compete. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll be able to move the needle. Uh, you know, we'll be nationally relevant. We'll be able to show our donors, show our fans, show our sponsors that what, what they are doing is working. Um, and it's going to take some time. Uh, I, and as, as we just saw with basketball this off season, mm -hmm. uh, we're, you know, we're starting to make some noise. Now we got, we got some work to do on the football side. Uh, but I think that we're going to get there, but this million dollar may deal, is is massive and we have to be aggressive we don't see a lot of these collectors doing something like this yeah will you uh i know paul's got a question i'll get to that here in a second but real quick uh, i want to segue from that into tell the listeners how they can donate and become yeah. a member and participate in this million dollar may what do they need to do yeah uh go to countryroadstrust.com you know right there on the page it'll ask you you know you can join as as a member as low as eighteen dollars and sixty seven cents a month all the way up to five hundred dollars a month you know if you want to do it annually and save yourself you know two months of, of subscription you know it's it's the lowest ones at hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy cents all the way up to five thousand dollars uh you can do one time contributions but that's countryroadstrust.com um and anything anything above that you know uh you know, please reach out to us personally. I would love to go, you know, to lunch, to dinner, you know, have a cup of coffee to figure out how we can do higher giving. Because, look, right. you know, we need to scale that side of the business uh, on the membership side. But we also want to be able to give do cool things with our members. Right. The tailgates. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about doing a, a golf tournament next year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're looking at doing all of these cool things to give back to our members with the athletes. It's all about access, you know, getting our coaches involved because they are all in, right? Like they're, right. they're, they're all in. I've got a great relationship with everybody. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, figure out some really cool things to do with our members um, and also give back with, with some cool things like sign, uh, sign helmets, sign footballs. Right. Um, but, you know, I think the biggest thing there is just access to, to the athletes. Awesome. Paul, what was your question, man? I know you had a question for Stephen as well. Yeah, first of all, Stephen, man, I just want to say you're extremely well spoken, man. I can see why you got this gig. Big kudos to you for getting it, man. You're doing an awesome job so far. Really, really proud of the Country Roads Trust and how they've been aggressive and tackled this thing. Uh, it makes me proud from this side to be a mountaineer and to hopefully help promote in one little way we can. Um, I appreciate that. So you, you get into it a little bit. I think – some people have some unrealistic expectations as far as, okay, you see what H Hugs and crew have been able to do for the basketball side, huge name after huge name. And then you look at the football side and some, uh, some really good players have come in, but maybe not move the needle quite as much yet. Can you explain to everybody how much more money it takes to fund a football team versus a basketball team? Yeah. Um, look, I, I, I it, basketball, it takes it takes two, three, four guys to change your team, to change the outlook of your team, right? Uh, maybe even one, right? Maybe all you're missing is a point guard. You know, maybe all you're missing is, is a big man. Uh, and I think in our in our case with basketball, we, we we had to fill a whole team, which is what we did, and we're, and they're not done yet. But that's that takes five guys right there. Mm -hmm. In football, it's it's such a massive operation, right? 
it doesn't take one guy. It doesn't take two guys. It doesn't take three guys to, to, to change the trajectory of your season. Right. Um, it's all about depth. It's all about finding guys that you might have lost through, uh, you know, through injury or in the portal. But our biggest thing, and I think what everybody needs to understand, um, you know, we focus so much on retention. There was there was a couple guys that that we lost this year that that really hurt. You know, losing uh, Caden Prather was was I think what our biggest loss. Uh, you know, losing JJ was also big. Right. But none of those guys, we didn't lose them to NIL. Right. I think it was their, their situation being closer to home. Uh, and Caden, really, he went back home. Uh, yeah, yeah. JJ went closer to closer to home. But we didn't lose any of those guys to, to NIL. Um, so we we were able to to really keep our entire roster together. Right. And, and Tony Mathis, that was not an NIL loss like that. That was that was truly truly, you know, trying to get the rock more times. And I think the world of Tony. Tony was Tony's my guy. Uh, and that wasn't that had nothing to do with any of that. Uh, but when you look at football compared to basketball, it's a much, much bigger operation. You got 85 scholarship guys. OK, uh, not everybody is going to get it's going to get an NIL deal. We're not going to pay every player. Um, and look, you we know who our who our dudes are. We have to pay them as such. OK, uh, what what we're trying to do with Neil and his staff and that program is you bring in the guys, the Josiah Trotters, the James Hers, the Rodney Gallagher's, you grow them, you grow them up, you get them to play to five star potential, and we will keep them here. Okay. Uh, us going, and, and, and if we continue to recruit like we always have, we get the three star guys and we get them to play to the four and five star potential, and we will keep them here. Yeah. That's if, if we can do that and we're not having to go to the portal every single year uh, to, to go, to go replace starters. That's how I think how we're going to be successful, but it's, it is a big operation and you can look at this, uh, you know, Neil and I were talking about this yesterday, you know, look at the, uh, how baseball's done, right? You got the, you got the farm system. Uh, you know, you can use your farm system, you can grow and develop your farm system and you can plug and play. Uh, you know, look at the uh, Tampa Bay uh, Rays, right? First place, you know, they're not going out to spend money on on guys in the in free agency. They're growing guys through their um, through their uh, uh, farm system. But look at the Yankees. They're in last place in their division, but they go and spend hundred hundreds of millions of dollars a year in free agency. It's all about chemistry, too, right? Yeah. Like if if you got the guys here when they're young, we keep them here. And I think another thing that's going to play in our favor down the road is this is the one uh, uh, transfer year, right? So, you know, we want to take advantage of the, of the portal, but we also need to build depth. Uh, and I think and I, and I and I'm comfortable with sharing this, you know, especially with your audience. You know, we need to be we need to be around five million dollar uh, a year collective for for football uh, to be to be truly healthy. Uh, we're not there yet, um, but I, I think we will get there uh, in, in due time uh, very soon. Um, you know, we're we're, we're close. But I think that's where we need to be to have, to be have a very healthy roster. Yeah. Okay. But we're not paying our quarterbacks millions of dollars. You know, we're not paying our our uh, receivers. You know, five hundred thousand yeah. dollars. If we can, sh- and, and the kids that are here want to be here, they want to play for West Virginia. Right. Uh, now we have to show love back to them. We got to show them that that hey, you know, from the NIL perspective, you know, we want you to be here, and this is. And this is us showing that you want to be here. They won't take calls from other schools. Then they just won't take calls. You know, I know, I know CJ might have been hit up from several different schools, mm-hmm. but you know what? We we showed him right away what he meant to us. Um, that's awesome. And that's and and look, we we were able to keep this a lot of these guys together. Mm-hmm. Again, those those two those two casualties, the portal, those those hurt a lot. Losing Tony really hurt. And I, I again, I, I thought the world of Tony, um, and I wish him nothing but the best. Honestly, absolutely. Same here. Speaking of, you mentioned earlier the, the uh, coaches and uh, and the staffs. What can they do from a rules perspective? What are they allowed to do to participate uh, or be a part of an NIL collective such as Country Roads Trust? Yeah, so they can they can help us promote. So the NCAA has they have guidelines, uh, and it seems like every other month they're coming out with with new guidelines. But they've always had these guidelines. Um, 
and, and they're all they're doing is just putting them back out in the pub and to the public, letting the universities know, letting the collectives know that, hey, you know, here here are the guardrails. OK, uh, what the coaches can do, what the athletics department can do, administration, coaches, you name it, that they can help promote what we're trying to do. So we use Neil, we use hugs, we use Randy, we use Ren on our social media. Look, there's not one coach or administrator that has said no to us. OK, mm-hmm. like. They are all in. They understand our our goal. We all have the same mission, um, and that's to be competitive in all of our in all of our sports. Right. Um, but uh, but the coaches can help us. Uh, if I if if you know Neil, and I went to a lunch yesterday with 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 a potential uh, you know donor. Right? right. So look, they are all in with us, and and what's good for us is going to be good for them. Um. Now, what they what they can't do is they can't give us money. They can't okay. personally give us money. Uh, anybody connected with the university, coaches, uh, staff, administration, they cannot, you know, sign up to be on part of our memberships. I mean, I mean, that would be great if they if, you know, I'm sure Neil would would love to help out. I'm sure Hugs would love to help out with NIL. Mm-hmm. But that's just something that they can't. That's something that they are not allowed to do. Right. Uh, so I guess that's what I should say is what something that they're not allowed to do. They're not allowed to give us money. Um, you know, they can't they can't go secure a, a, a donor deal and turn around and give us the money. Um, you know, really, you know, that's that's what we're here for. Right. Um, but, you know, they have contacts. Right. You know, everybody has their, their Rolodex of supporters uh, and we work with them. Um, right. I think we have a great work, working relationship with all the programs. Uh, good right, working relationship with Jay Koontz, uh, Coleman Barnes with with uh, with uh, uh, football. Um, and now, you know, C- Coach Kellogg and, and women's basketball mm-hmm. and I have been super close. You know, we were able to secure, you know, a two and a half million dollar gift uh, for women's basketball over That's five great. years. That is uh, great. That's program changing stuff, guys. That is, man. Two and a half million for women's basketball is huge. Exactly. Uh, you know, and, and we were able to keep that roster together, uh, even when, with Dawn leaving, you know, and mm-hmm. we wish Dawn the best. But now he, he, he has a war chest every single year to go out and, into the portal Go work with some high school student athletes. Let them know what the opportunity is here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Coach Kellogg, awesome guy. If you guys have ever had a chance to talk with him, you know, he's he's, he's amazing. Uh, 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 Nikki Izzo Brown, you know, mm-hmm. we've been doing great things for her. Um, you know, baseball, obviously. Like, look, I, we don't want to look. I, Maisie, uh, Randy, that entire staff. I I can't say enough about how incredible job they've done in recruiting uh obviously um you know just just their play this year but we were able to help them out on the nil side nil side early on you know that was really our first stab at the portal and recruiting for uh nil with the trust was that first was that class um and and it's paying dividends as you see Yeah. Um, and, but look, we want to keep that going. We want that. We want to have the momentum all around athletics, you know, football, yeah. basketball, everything. That's awesome. Paul, do you have any other questions for Steven before I move on? I don't want to hog up all the screen time, man. Just curious. When this thing got rolled out, obviously Pat McAfee was listed as a part of the country as trust. Where does he stand with trust? Is he somebody you talk to? Is he somebody you're in contact with day to day? Or does he just check in from time to time to see how things are going? Yeah, no, uh, uh, Pat McAfee, uh, as you guys know, he's he's a very well-known guy on social media. He's got his own podcast, and I'm sure you guys have seen the news, trying to do a deal with ESPN. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a pretty busy guy, right? Uh, you know, uh, we're, we're trying to get involved a lot more, but, but look, his time is, and, and I truly believe this. Everybody's time is everything. Like we don't, I don't like to bother people. We don't like to beg. Like, hey, you know, if 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 you don't have the time, just let us know when you do. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 he will. You know, I'm sure that he'll get involved at some point. You know, he just had he just had a baby. Um, you know, he's he's the fifty million dollar man. Uh, on you know, and, and I guess we should say with, with the, the FanDuel deal and everything. Mm-hmm. Um. But no, you know he's he's a good, great supporter of ours. You know we've got we've got that whole um, uh, advisory board, you know, and we're going to be using a lot of them to push, you know, million dollar May in the next couple of weeks. So um, you know, stay tuned there. Yeah, and I'm sure with him and Pac Man, I know Pac Man's really close to the program as well, and he and Pac Man are really close. Yeah, 
So I'm sure that's 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 a good uh, a good duo there, a good team yeah. that that can help support not only WVU as a whole, yeah, and get you know promote the school and the team, but teams, but also maybe even help Country Roads Trust out at some point right. if, they, if they aren't already. Yeah, I, I've had several conversations with Pac Man, and um, um, you know he's helping Neil out as well. You know he, what what. Pac-Man brings to the table is that he can really relate with these kids, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he can kind of talk about the process and and, and things like that. Something that I, that I can't really talk about. I didn't play college college football. He did. He was the number, you know, number five overall pick or number six overall pick to my Tennessee Titans. Uh, you know, so I, I, I've got a lot of love for Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to be getting Pac-Man involved in the trust a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, so stay tuned. You know, we're – look. Over these next, you know, four, five, six months, you guys, I think everybody's going to be proud of, of the things that we're, that we're doing here. Awesome, man. How does WVU, or, or, you know, in this case, Country Roads Trust is the center of the co top conversation. How does Country Roads Trust stack up, in your opinion, with other schools in the new Big 12? Not, not counting Oklahoma, Texas. How do you think West Virginia and Country Roads Trust stacks up in the NL game in the Big 12? I, I think that I think we're probably top three uh, when it comes to NIL. I, I truly do. Um, and look, we get we get calls all the time asking about our blueprint. Like, how are y'all doing it? Uh, and look, you see all around the country, uh, collectors are, are closing their doors. Right? They're merging. Uh, there's a lot of competition amongst schools and their and they and multiple collectives there. But I'll be honest, you know, and not to just we're not just biased. Like, I truly feel like we are doing things so much better than everybody else. Um, but we have so much further to go. We are not going to stop, um, you know, but I, I think that we are in that top three of, of the new Big 12. I, I truly do. That's great to hear, man. Glad to hear that. And, and that corroborates some, some reports that have come out, some things that I personally seen. You know, uh, I'm sure nobody knows the true extent of the numbers with any given trust, but uh, we have seen in different reports uh, WVB ranked as high as number one yeah. at points. Yeah. And and, and uh, I think, you know, because we're not used to financially being talked about at, in that, you know, for in the past as far as the university, I think people thought we were in debt and somehow the trust is involved with that. They're two separate things. You know, and, and people just really need to understand that the trust and the university's bank are two different banks. <laughs> They're two different yeah. banks. They don't have anything to do with each other. Yeah. And, and I think so. And I think for your audience to know, too, you know, we are not while we have the same mission and the same goals as the university does and athletics does. We are totally separate. We are our own private company. Right. We have our own bank account. We have our own team. We have, you know, we are totally separate now. Mm -hmm. We Do we work with them just like we are part of the athletic department? Absolutely. But we are totally separate. We do our own fundraising. You know, we have our own investors that cover our overhead. Um, and we do our, and we just, we do our own thing. Um, but, you know, look, everybody can, it, it's, uh, I guess there's a, a right word. There's a stigma about West Virginia. But look, there are there's there's some money in the state. There's a lot of there's sure. some supporters, and and we don't just focus on West Virginia. Like like I travel to D.C. Like like Charlotte. Um, you know, you you look around the the country. We have fans and alumni everywhere, right? And so and so we're we're trying to do a better job in the D.C. area, the D.M.V. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Charlotte, uh, uh, Atlanta. You know, so we're trying to put together, you know, events there and fundraising events, uh, perhaps some watch parties uh, for some of the football and basketball games, uh, just so that we can get that that fan base out there involved. Uh, we like like I said, you know, we got to do a better job of outreach, you know, outside of West Virginia. Uh, but we hitting those three different areas is going to be uh, critical for us. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you appreciated that conversation with Stephen Ford the COO and GM of Country Roads Trust. I hope you learned something from that interview. And also, I hope you'll go out and support Country Roads Trust if you're able and help uh, help them achieve their goal of raising a million dollars in the month of May. And, hey, even if we get past May, if you can't give anything in May and you get to June, July, August, or even further out and you still want to su uh, support the program, support NIL, it's never too late. 
to support Country Roads Trust and the work they're doing over there to help retain Mountaineer student athletes on this roster. So, with that being said, guys, please go to countryroadstrust.com, go to their website. Also, don't forget to support us right here also at Coos's Corner. Go check out my friends at Blue Ridge Coffee Crafters. BlueRidgeCoffeeCrafters.com. There's a link in the description box to get you a bag of delicious coffee that's less bitter than other coffees, less acidic than other coffees, that's made with hand-picked coffee beans and that tastes absolutely amazing and tastes smooth. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. I've got a bag of the caramel flavored, and I love it. So go, go to Blue Ridge Coffee Crafters and put Coozes, C-O-U-Z apostrophe S, in the comments at checkout. Let them know you discovered it right here on my channel. It'll really help me out. Also, go to my merch store, guys. Go to my merch store, get you a shirt, a tank top, a hoodie, a ball cap, a coffee mug, all kinds of different items over there to choose from. That's another way you can support me financially. But, hey, if you want to support me absolutely free, you can do it in four ways. You can give me the thumbs up on the video. Make sure you give it a like. You can drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this conversation with Stephen Ford. And if you're listening on podcast platforms, on Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Google Podcasts, whatever your platform of choice is, if you're listening on those platforms, please go leave me a five-star review. Leave me a rating, and if you'll take a screenshot of that and email it to me at coos.walker, C-O-U-Z dot walker, W-A-L-K-E-R, at gmail.com. Email me the screenshot. Show me the where you left me the five-star review. I will, and also leave me your mailing address. I will mail you a Coos's Corner koozie. That's right. I'll mail you a free koozie for leaving me a five-star review on the podcast platforms. Because that really helps out the show, and I would really appreciate it. So that being said, guys, I really appreciate you tuning into this episode. And until the next one, Q Country Roads.